I designed this Infusion 360. I spent months on every detail. But how was I going to make all of these parts? And even more parts when I turned it into a kit. So I got quotes from suppliers, 3D print farms, and local machine shops. To fulfill orders, it would have been way too expensive to use vendors. So I decided to buy my own equipment. Well, I guess it's time for me to start building. This is the Raise 3D Pro 2 3D printer from Raise 3D. Now, I ordered this about two weeks ago and it arrived a week later and has been sitting in the garage ever since. Now, I would have opened it, however, the garage was a complete disaster. So I spent a couple of days getting it all cleaned out and ready to go and also created myself a little bit of a studio slash workspace and workshop here. Now that I've got all that done, now I can actually get to opening this box. So let's get to it. I'm really excited. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's satisfying. That was a pretty big box for this little doodad. Let's uh, cut it open and see what's inside. Let's see what we've got here. Ah. This is the steel nozzle because I'm gonna be printing with carbon fiber filament for some of my more structural components. And so speaking with one of the reps at Race 3 d he recommended upgrading to this. So that's a good thing. All right, let's continue.
All right, so now I've got everything out of the uh, printer. And as you can see, there's a lot of boxes here. So let's get through them one by one. Put this down here. And uh, we'll come back to this. All right, so the first thing is the uh, build plate. Um, the interesting thing is that in here is a uh, leveling test model. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. And there you can see it, the uh, test that they ran to make sure that it's perfectly level. Now, this is one of the cool things that they do is they make sure that this is perfectly leveled from the manufacturer before it arrives. And here is the example of the test itself. So pretty cool. Uh, now there's a spatula around here somewhere, probably in this box. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's see here. Let's open this up. Wow. These are some seriously heavy duty gloves. Gloves, spatula, accessories, tweezers. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it says 0.2 millimeters, so it might be something for calibration. Some more parts. Lots of stuff and uh, Heart Rays 3D. I know where this is gonna go. And it looks like a um, PLA. So it comes with a box of PLA as well. Let's go ahead and do the next step. So according to the instructions, we're gonna peel this off up here. Let's see here, the uh, spatula. And let's see here. actually takes a little bit of force to get under here. This is oddly satisfying. And here is the uh, Build plate, very cool. Okay, so the build plate has now been cleared up and it's ready to be loaded into the printer. And one of the things that's really nice about this is it has uh, magnets already built into the build plate. And then as you can see here, I'm screwing down the little screws to make sure that's extra secure and tight in place so that way it doesn't move. As I showed a minute ago, the printer comes with a spool of PLA. Well, it didn't just come with one spool, it came with two spools of one kilogram of PLA. Now. On the box it says premium PLA. I'm not exactly sure what is premium about it, but I'm going to assume that it's a higher grade than at least some of your run-of-the-mill PLA that you can buy online. Ah, nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, so this first one is uh, white filament. Uh, let's go ahead and get this second one opened up. Cool, so the second one is red spool of PLA. I love that the uh, Raise 3D folks put in their brand colors as their uh, complimentary spools that come with the printer. 
Now this machine is capable of printing a whole host of different uh, filaments and one of the cool things is they participate in an open filament program which means the uh, filament that you buy if it's on the program they've got profiles available that you can download and load into the printer to make sure that the printer will perform uh, beautifully based on the filament that you load into it. Some of the filaments that it's capable of printing is ABS, PC, TPU, nylon, PETG, ASA, PP, PVA, and glass-infused or carbon fiber-infused filament, plus metal fill and wood fill. Here I'm adding the spool holders, which are inside the casing, which is actually really nice. Uh, they go on very easily. I, I really like the simplicity of this design. Loading the filament is actually really simple as you can see. I just feed it into the tube all the way to the extruder and then uh, just repeat it the same process for the second spool and before you know it, it is loaded ready to go and then there's a couple of steps that you use a touchscreen for and it gets itself set up and it's ready to go. It doesn't take very long at all. All right, I got the printer all set up. It didn't take too long. Actually, it took a couple days because of all the video shooting, but had it not been for the recording, I think it probably would have taken me about 20 minutes to set up. It was really easy to get uh, going. As you saw, the two spools went in right away, uh, got the extruders loaded, and the printer is ready to go. So the next thing that I wanna do is I actually want to print my very first print on my very first 3D printer. Now, Raise 3 d does send a sample file that you can print, and I decided I don't actually wanna do that. I want to actually print my very first piece or a prototype piece for the L1011 model that I've been working on. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, I put a lot of the renderings and the parts with up close details on Instagram. So uh, head on over there and check them out if you wanna see. But what I'm gonna print today is the uh, horn slash uh, mount for the rudder, which will control the pivot of the rudder. So that's gonna be the first piece that I'm gonna print. Let's dig into the computer and uh, get it loaded into Idea Maker and bring the parts in. And Idea Maker is a slicer that is uh, free to use and it's made by Raise 3 d So I'm gonna use what the manufacturer suggests. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and get started. All right, so welcome back to Fusion 360. I hope you've been following along in the tutorials that I've been doing on the channel. This is the empennage or the tail section of the RC airplane that I plan on building. These uh, gray parts that you see through here are all going to be 3D printed parts. And as my first one, what I wanna do is I actually want to print the horn and collar that's at the base of the rudder, which controls the throw of the rudder. So in order to get this out of Fusion 360, what I need to do is find it in the browser and I need to export this. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to uh, select save as STL. And then it's gonna highlight this piece and it's gonna ask me what format. I'm gonna select binary. I'm previewing the mesh. It's telling me how many triangles and I want high refinement. Now, I have the option to send this directly to Print Utility, but for the purpose of just learning how to get these files out, I'm not going to do that, so I'm just gonna say, okay. And then it's gonna ask me where to save it, and press save. Now I'm gonna head over into Idea Maker, the slicer uh, by Raise 3 d and I'm going to import that model. There it is right there. I'm gonna open that up. And as you can see, that uh, part is now right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some work and get this ready to go and then send it off to the printer. Let's see how this goes.
So here it is, the very first print off of the Raise 3D Pro 3D printer. You can see first chance, first time out of the gate, and it is an absolutely beautiful print. Uh, the last thing that I need to do is just uh, get it off the build plate and take off the supports and the raft and uh, the very first part is is ready to go. Now a couple of things that I do want to say is I've got to be honest I am really impressed with this machine. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it right the first time out of the gate but it went flawlessly. Absolutely perfect and just kind of Looking at this, I'm absolutely blown away. I've it's even got the um, the lettering on the back back here where I noted that this is designed for an M3 uh, clevis, which is right here printed on the uh, on the horn. So let's go ahead and get this taken off of the build plate. So here it is, the very first prototype piece. Absolutely spectacular. I cannot, I have nothing bad to say about this. The detail is spectacular. I just, I'm really blown away by the quality, especially for a uh, smaller piece like this. I really take my hats off to Raise 3D. They really put together a very nice machine. If this is your first time watching this channel and you'd like to learn CAD and how to design model airplanes or other types of models, uh, do check out my channel because I teach CAD and I've got an entire tutorial series on how you can design a model airplane within Fusion 360. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, more videos to come as we move forward into the build phase of this series. All right, until we see each other again, take care.